<laughs> Hello everyone, this is Cinema 77, horror and cult film lover. I'm back and okay, we already did the uh, the shelf videos. So we completed all that. Now we're going to work on the storage bins. I've got two of these and uh, hopefully we'll get through this pretty quick. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we have Jar Jar Binks, the F True Hollywood Story. I watched this, this is pretty funny. It's very short, but really good basically kind of like um if jar jar binks was like um you know a celebrity and he was you know getting into drugs and all that other kind of stuff so yeah this is pretty funny so i like it okay expecting mercy i picked this up a lot of these are ones i haven't seen yet and as you can see like you know you see on the uh shelves there i need to uh get new cases for a lot of these so you're gonna see like a lot of these are kind of beat up so the Vatican Tapes. Decent movie. I watched this. It's not bad. It's kind of run-of-the-mill kind of exorcist movie. I mean, but eh, it's okay. The Witch. Um, not bad. Um, not my all-time favorite movie about witchcraft, but uh, still, I don't mind it. So, it was decent. I mean, come on. Picked up the DVD for 50 cents. I can't complain about that. Same thing with this one. The Haunting in Connecticut. Um... I gotta be honest, I'm really not the biggest fan of this movie, and, you know, but uh, the documentary is fantastic. You know, if you ever get a chance, I mean, if you really want the better version, watch the documentary Haunting in Connecticut. I still need to watch uh, uh, Haunting in Georgia, the second one. So. Okay, Killer Mountain. Haven't watched this one yet. So we got this one here. I know I've seen this movie. I just don't remember it. The Rockville Slayer. Picked this one up uh, just recently at a Goodwill. Uh, I know I've seen this movie. I just don't really remember it. Okay. We've got St. Nick. Which I wish they really didn't put that sticker over the St. part. But... Right. Like I said, you can tell a lot of these are beat up. They really do need better cases. So I need to get... I need to order new cases for these. Under the Skin, Scarlett Johansson. So, Scarlett, yum yum. Everybody loves Scarlett. Okay, we got this one here. Uh, War of the Worlds 2, The Next Wave, Invasion uh, of the Pod People. So, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Um, I think I only paid maybe a dollar for this, so I just figured what the hell, you know. I'll take a chance on it. See if it's any good. Haunting Desires. It's like trying to find, you know, good, sexy, erotic movies that, you know, because there are some folks on my channel, they prefer when I review the sexy movies. So, so yeah, I need to get around to that. Same thing with this one here, Mad Love. It's another erotica type film. So, yep. And here we go. Ghost Hunters, this isn't the TV show with the, um, you know, the uh, Roto-Rooters guys, you know, going around, you know, what's that, what's that, do you hear that, what's that? No, this is more of a documentary. I'm going to tell you, Legends of Legionnaires, Spirits of the Civil War, the Phantom Schoolmaster, so it's more of a documentary, and kind of very cheaply shot on video, but still, wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. Mara? I'm trying to remember this movie. I did watch this. I know I did. I watched it on Netflix and I bought this on DVD. It's like, I know I have seen it. I just don't remember it. But I know I did watch it. Eileen Warnos, The Selling of a Serial Killer, documentaries. This is where, um, if anybody had watched my um, monster movie review, this is the documentary where they pretty much talk about pretty much just about anybody who. Um, ever met Eileen Warnos, pretty much just tried to take advantage of her and just you know, everybody was just trying to make money off of her. So that doesn't, you know, that doesn't excuse what she did. I'm just saying though, it's like, yeah, pretty much everybody was like trying to, you know, everybody's trying to like make money off her. The Tingler. I know this is, um, I am aware that this is out from Scream Factory and stuff, but you know, basically just, like I said, I'm not really the pickiest person in the world when it comes to black and white movies. I don't really feel like I really need them on Blu-ray because with a, with a couple of exceptions, I don't know, just 
black and white movies don't really look that much better on Blu-ray. That's just my opinion. But Sliver, unrated. So I was saying, you know, it's like, um, I need to get the first Basic Instinct. I just picked up Basic Instinct 2. So I need to go ahead and do a Sharon Stone theme week. So, uh, what was this? Oh, Six Models in Hell. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to watch this yet. See, that's one of the reasons, too, why I want to go ahead and get cases for some of these. I can see them on my shelves. I can start, oh, I haven't seen that one. I need to watch it. Femalian, another movie with erotica that, you know, I can review for my channel. So, get around to that. Pumpkinhead 4, uh, Blood Feud. Finally, I now have all four um, Pumpkinhead movies. I got the first two on Blu-ray, and I got three and four on DVD. I don't think three and four ever got Blu-ray releases, at least not that I'm aware of. So, anyway, so yeah, nice to have all the Pumpkinhead movies. Okay, Ring You 2. So, trying to get the, uh, the Japanese versions of the Ring films. Cool, cool, cool. Then we got Curve, Julianne Huff. Looks very, I haven't watched this yet, but it looks very much similar to like The Hitcher or something like that. We'll see. Into Temptation, another erotic type film. That, look into that. Maybe I can review that for my channel. So. Let the right one in. Took me forever to finally get this on DVD. and. Um, I need to check. I am pretty sure this is on Blu-ray, but anyway, though, right now I just, I'm just glad to have a copy of it. You know, I have a, let me in. I have that in the Blu-ray section. I got the, the American version of it, but I wanted this one too. So now I finally got it. So that's cool. So yeah. So now we're going to get started on this part. Okay. And here we go. We're going to have, uh, Guardians of the Realms. Okay. Vampire movie. Obviously, we've got The Reaping, Hilary Swank. I've seen this. Pretty decent movie. Well, yeah, about the end times. Uh, the Bloodletting, Vampire Scrolls. I haven't seen this one yet. The Exorcism of Molly Hartley. I'm hoping this one will be pretty good because I did watch The Haunting of Molly Hartley. And, oh my God, that may as well be a Disney movie. So hopefully this will be at least a little bit better. Cellular got this mainly for uh, uh, the fact that it's written by um, Larry Cohen, the late great Larry Cohen. Forgotten, Julia Moore. I admit I haven't seen this one yet. Three Blind Mice looked interesting. House of Voices, Ghost Story, Gag. This one I know I did watch. Pretty much, you know, kind of. Torture film. But. We got uh, The Hollow Sacrament. Circle of Eight. That's the thing. I know it's kind of a really pissy to sit here. Oh, you got all these. You haven't watched them. And stuff. It's just the problem is, is like when you go out and you really hit big scores in pawn shops or, or flea markets or whatever, record stores and stuff. When they got a bunch of stuff you're they're just trying to get rid of, it's so you know, you can't help it. You just buy a bunch of stuff and then it's all like, oh man, I'm I'm backed up. I got movies for ages that I need to watch. Dead Soul. But it's you know, it's always with the intention. You're gonna buy these movies, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna watch them. Just I need to get around to them. Dead Souls. Bill Mosley. Uh let's see here. Night what was it? Night Junkies. Okay, another vampire movie. Vamps, uh, I still, I haven't watched this one yet, and I have a feeling I'm going to regret it. The Forest. I started to watch this one, and for whatever reason, I didn't finish it. I need to finish watching the rest of it. The Caller. The Hatred. This movie I did see. I've seen this one. Good movie. It kind of goes there. Okay, that's not really a horror movie, is it, though? Queen Eastwood, Outlaw Josie Wales, uh, The Cavern, but I, I can't help it. Okay, I do like Westerns. So. The Cavern, Savage Island, The Gift. Mainly, I know this isn't strictly horror, but, you know, it's Sam Raimi, and 
it is kind of more of a suspense thriller. So that's why I got that. The Cave. Lake Placid 3. Byzantium. I did see this movie, and I'm sure there's parts of it you know that's all Blu-ray, right? It's like, yeah, I know, but honestly, this is a movie... Um, it's very slow pace to me, and it's it was just kind of all right. So this is a movie I don't feel like I'm going to die if I don't absolutely have this on uh, on Blu-ray. I can live with it on DVD, to be honest with you. Uh, the Calling. I think this is very much like a Omen type of movie. The Sacred. Uh, feast 2. Sloppy Seconds. I do have the first Feast on Blu-ray. The Wraith. I didn't I didn't pay attention when I got this, so I didn't see the full screen there. But the Corpse Vanishes, Bella Lugosi. This one here pretty much cost me nothing. I don't even think I even paid the dollar for it. Uh Evil in the Bio. Decoys, the second seduction. Oh yeah. Alien seducing people, you know, of course, so I got to do that, so. All right, get in there. No, we already looked at that one. Uh, the Black Cat. Based on the underground post story. And this one here is Pumpkinhead, Ashes to Ashes. This is the third movie. So, yeah, so now I got all those. We look at the ones here in the middle. Here we got... Let's see here. Death Tunnel. Cool. Okay, we got... Which one's this one? Uh, Curse of the Komodo. It's Hungry. We've got... Let's see, which one's this one? Chain Letter. Unrated. We've got... Pulse, unrated, the first one. I think I got the second one. I just need the third one now. So, I have to admit, I'm not really a huge fan of this movie, but uh, mainly I got it because, you know, I wanted to get it for my Dimension Extreme titles. Um, Let's see, Frost. This, one, this one's going to probably be a trip. I mean, come on, Gary Busey in it. Portrait of a Vampire. And what is this one? <clears throat> Uh, the Man with Nine Lives, Boris Karloff. You know, that's the thing. If it's you know horror related and it says Boris Karloff on it, you just you can't help it. You're gonna want to watch it. So, so anyway, so now we're gonna start on this one here. What do we got here? We have got the Big Doll House. I just showed this one off in a haul video not too long ago. Come on, yes, you know, Roger Corman, Girls in Prison kind of movie. So yeah. So that one pretty much is kind of a no-brainer. Okay, now we got Bait. I just watched this um, a couple of days ago. It's really good. Really good. About a tsunami that hits Australia, and everybody's, all these people in a grocery store, they're trapped pretty much underwater, and they're trying to find their way out, and all these sharks are coming in, eating everybody. And Good movie. This was fun. This was really a fun movie. Good throw ride. We got Open House and a pack wins. Stephen Moore. So, haven't seen this one yet, so. Probably a very True Blood kind of looking movie. We got the uh, Willard remake. I know. See what I mean? These really need better cases. And I'm going to get that. But the uh, I know that uh, Screen Factory just put this out on Blu ray, but at the same time, it's like this movie is okay, but it's not something I really feel like I need in high definition, so. Prey, good movie. So, like I say, you know, when you can get these for like anywhere from fifty cents to a dollar, it says you can't help it. You just start buying bunches and bunches of them. Okay, this one I did see, Broken, Heather Graham, Jeremy Sisto. Oh, Heather Graham, she's one of those women like, you know, I always thought she was gorgeous no matter what, but she, to me personally, she's one of those women like, the older she gets, the better she looks. It's like, oh my god, she's got to be like almost 50 years old, I think. But look at her. She still looks she still looks as gorgeous as any 20-year-old. 
goodness gracious. Okay, we got Stay, Ewan McGregor, Naomi Watts. Haven't seen this one yet. Big surprise, haven't seen it yet. This one I did see, Out of the Dark. Not a bad movie. Julia Stiles. Oh, Julia Stiles is so pretty. I only saw she was so gorgeous. Whoops. Yeah. But, yeah, this one I did see. It was okay. Wasn't anything great, but it wasn't super special. But it was all right. Uh, Evil Woods. Evil Woods. I haven't watched this one yet. So that's the best part, you know, of like internet was to ever go down. It's not like I don't have anything to watch. So zombies. Pretty cool. Beware the Walking Dead. So, yeah, I really, I am. I'm really getting um, agitated now. I really want to hurry up and get you know better cases for these and and put them with the rest of the collection. The Good Student. I did watch this one. It's actually not a bad little flick. Um, it's got William Sadler in it. Ooh, Hayden Panettiere. Oh, yum yum. Um, it's actually it's pretty good. It's it's uh, kind of a Dark comedy, thriller, um, you know, uh, Hayden Panettiere, her character gets kidnapped and her teacher, uh, Tim Daly there from Wings, Stephen King's Storm of the Century, he gets blamed for it and like everybody's trying to, it seems like everybody's just trying to see what they could get out of her being kidnapped, but he seems like the only one who really wants to try to find her, get her back safe. Uh, Killer Instinct. Where's it? Wall of Stone. So, yep. Yeah, got that. Pathology. I did watch this movie. It's pretty good. Wild movie. Wild movie. So, Alyssa Milano. So, there you go. Yeah, get in some crazy stuff there. So, good movie. Uh, no Return. I haven't seen this one yet. So, Demon Hunter from producer Stephen J. Cannell. Yeah, he did a bunch of these movies for a while there. Anchor Bay, everybody. So, I know. If you find Anchor Bay DVDs, you got to snag them. Uh, this one here I do want to upgrade to Blu ray is uh, Scooby Doo 1 and 2. I actually don't mind these movies. You know, it's like, um, I thought mainly it's for uh, Matthew Lillard as Shaggy, Linda Cardellini as uh, Velma. To me, they perfectly captured uh, Velma and and Shaggy. I think they were perfect in that. So, Chinatown, classic uh, Polanski um, detective film noir. I get the chance. This one, I definitely do want to upgrade to Blu-ray. See No Evil, the story of the Moore's murders. Cool, cool. <clears throat> Crumb Skull laid to rest two. Demon Hunter. Yep. yep. Big Fish. Mainly got this for my Tim Burton collection. It's okay. It's not my favorite Tim Burton movie, but it's all right. Bloodstains. Haven't seen this one yet. Obviously, a vampire movie from the looks of it. Wait, did I watch this movie? Actually, I think I did. I need to look at that. I might have watched that one already. Oxygen. Paranoid. Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba. Yum, yum. The Cottage. As you can tell, brand new or still sealed, so I haven't seen that one yet, obviously. Now we got the first laid to rest. Ghost House, we have uh, Brotherhood of Blood, Sid Haig, Ken Foree. Oh, yeah. Alive or Dead. Death Becomes Her. I know they just put this out from uh, Screen Factory on Blu-ray. I'll upgrade that in the future. Jurassic Attack. The Monkey's Paw. Not a bad movie. Pretty good movie. It's got a uh, Stephen Lang, I think. Yeah, from uh, yeah Stephen Lang from uh, Don't Breathe. 
and Fort Doom. Horror movie mixed with a Western, pretty much. So, Anyway, okay, that's it for the uh, first tub. Let's see if we can do the next one. Okay, here we go. Now, tub number two. Deliverance. I just picked this up in my most recent haul video. Rebecca, same thing. Rampage, the Hillside Strangler Murders. Beer.com. Uh, Basic Instinct 2, like I said, plan on doing a Sharon Stone theme week. Barb Wire. Pamela Anderson, why not? The Invoking. Looks good. I'm going through these really fast because I just picked all these, you know, I just picked these up. I just showed them off in my most recent haul videos. Serum. Bangoria Blood Drive number two. Bangoria Blood Drive number one. Penumbra. Dark Harvest three. Scarecrow. Uh, the Cat in the Hat knows a lot about that. Tricks and Treats. Okay, now we got box sets here. We got Indiana Jones. Still in great condition. I have these on Blu-ray, but I keep this mainly for the bonus material disc. Same thing with the Star Wars collection. Keep these because, you know, the bonus feature disc. Okay. Easily, probably my least favorite slasher series is uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to put down anybody who loves the movies. I'm just not really into them. Okay, I got some Rachel Ray. I have to admit, I got a little bit of a thing for Rachel Ray. I admit it. So, all around tasty. I'm sure she is. I'm sorry for the sexist comment. But, uh, Rachel Ray's Holidays. Fun and Fast. <coughs> Okay, we got this one here. This is the uh, remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I do have this on Blu-ray, but I keep this because it's got the, you know, the collectible pictures and the collectible tin and stuff like that. So, but yeah, this is still a really neat set. That's why I keep it. Pearl Harbor. I know this movie's on Blu-ray, but honestly, this is a movie I don't really care about enough to want to upgrade it. We got some snapper cases here. We got Exorcist Two: The Heretic. I'm sorry, this is just not a movie I want to pay $30 to Scream Factory for for Blu-ray. I'm sorry, this is good enough for me. House on Haunted Hill, the remake, uh, kind of the same thing. Not really my favorite. Man with Two Brains, Steve Martin, very funny movie. I think this one's a Warner Archive Blu-ray now. Good horror comedy, nothing but trouble. Good fun. I like this movie. Okay, so we got some other stuff here. We got... I thought I'd give this a shot. Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles, uh, Season 1. So, I do like some of the Terminator movies. So. Pulling, a uh, British uh, sex comedy. I just finished watching Season 1 through 3 of Coupling. That was a lot of fun. I need to review those, but this one here. So. Jawbreaker, Heather's type of movie. Um, yeah, I think this is out of print now. That's why I grabbed it. But yeah, kind of like a Heather's type of film. Appointment for a Killing, uh, supposedly based on a true story. That's why I got it. Got some Westerns here, because I love Westerns. Beyond the Law, Lee Van Cleef, uh, Death Rides a Horse. Yeah. Some more Westerns here, too. We got God's Gun and Cry Blood Apache. We got Exorcism, The Possession of Gail Bowers. We got Spiders 2, uh, Breeding Ground. I think they got that Blu ray that's got all the Spiders movies in it. You look into that. We got The Thaw with Val Kilmer. Okay, we got these here. We got <clears throat> Are You Scared 2? The Dawn. 
Uh, Stage Ghost, another Western horror film. We've got the Prophecy, the Complete Collection, all the movies. There's Walken. He's evil and wants to take over the world because he needs more cowbell. I know I made that dumb joke before. Uh, Dire Wolf, a movie collection. Um, got this because there looks to be quite a few werewolf movies on here, which is cool. So, yeah. So, so I picked that one up. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth. Pretty much I got this for practically nothing. I know it's on Blu-ray. I think they just put it out on 4K too, so. Yeah, I'll upgrade this one at some point, but it was just nice just to get it, you know, so. I'm not against taking free DVDs, so it doesn't bother me a bit. Uh, Raison, Razin, one of the films that inspired The Ring. So. Machined. Double feature of The Hidden and The Hidden 2. Really happy to get those. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Okay, so uh, behind convent walls, I just recently reviewed this for my channel. If you like dirty, filthy, naughty nuns, you're gonna like this movie. You got uh, April Fools. I haven't seen that yet. Got half cased, half cast. Not exactly sure. Uh, Harm's Way. Or in harm's way? No, it's just harm's way. Sorry. Uh, Fatal Charm, Joan Collins. Looks like sexy type of movie, so why not? Works for my channel, doesn't it? Got this one here, Chastity Bites, vampire comedy. So, thought this one could have been. The Mean Girls have met their match. Okay. Roger Corman's Death Race 2050. You know, but Roger Corman, you know, just it, it intrigued me. Uh, Undead or Alive, another horror western. You can tell I do like horror westerns. So. Yep. <clears throat> Confessions of a Call Girl, another sexy thriller I can review for my channel. Uh, Underworld, uh, six episodes of horror, J horror anthology, not to be mixed with the Kate Beckinsale movies. Uh, the case of the Whitechapel vampire. It sounds crazy, but I just I can't help it. It sounds like it could be fun. Hey, okay, we got um, Skin Deep, Fangoria, Gore Zone video. Yeah, boy. Or Davis, the Leprechaun. Okay, we got Spreading Ground, Dennis Hopper. I haven't seen this yet. But new breed of serial killer. I know, I know, I'm a terrible person, but I like the Wayne's Brothers. Okay, I don't. I admit the one movie they did that I didn't like was Little Man, but pretty much just about everything else, I'm I'm a Wayne's Brothers fan. I do enjoy their movies. And I thought this was funny. It's weird, but it's funny. Okay, Prophet of Evil, based on a true story. Brian Dennehy. Awesome. If my brother was uh, still alive, I think he would have taken this from me. I never would have seen it again because Brian Dennehy was one of his all-time favorite actors. <laughs> uh, your next three, Pajama Party Massacre. Shot on video, I think. So, yeah. I just Like I said, I really can't wait to get these in better cases and make them look more presentable. Uh, Unhinged. I've heard not very good things about this movie. I've heard it's kind of boring and stuff, but mainly it's popular because it was one of the video nasties, but I couldn't help it. I wanted to check it out for myself. So, need the fun park. It happened. So, yeah. Uh, population 436. I've seen this one, though. This is actually a good movie. I've seen that one. Uh, Garden of Evil. Lying in Wait. Cool. Another one, I believe, is based on a true story. 
Uh, Dukes of Hazard movie, unrated. Um, I actually don't mind this. I was never the biggest fan of the TV series. My brother was, but I'm not too big a fan of it. But American movie. I need to watch this. I've heard nothing but great things about this movie. I heard it's supposed to be really, really good and really funny. I need to watch that one. Okay, we got our last ones here. We got Channel Zero, No End House. I believe this is season, yeah, season two. You look into that one. The Night Stalker, not a very good movie, but uh, yeah. Midnight Horror Collection, Last of the Living, Great Mistake, Wake of the Dead, I Am Omega. I got for the other, I do have I Am Omega on another version, but I need it for the other three movies. So that's why I got that one. <clears throat> This one here, Backwoods Butchers. We got, you know, A Bother Conscience, Butchered, Mother's Day Massacre, Breadcrumbs, Silent Hill Revelation. I know, I know. I haven't watched this yet, but I've heard it's not very good. Not very good. Fletch Lives. Good movie, but not something I really want to pay 30, 30 bucks to, um, you know, 30 bucks to uh, Screen Factory or Shout Factory for. Woke Up Dead with Napoleon Dynamite. Zombie comedy. And here we go. We're going to end with The Art of Exotic Dancing for Everyday Women. Mainly, it just I needed to get so many of them just to get the sale. And I was like, why not? This could be interesting. Take a look at it. But anyway, that's it. Um, yeah, we went through the bins. And now that pretty much is everything I got from my movie collection so far. So... If anybody took the time to watch all this, I thank you for doing it, and I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed these series of videos. If you did, please like and subscribe. And uh, now that this is done, I mean, at, at least until next year when I start my 2020 edition. But, um, yeah, for right now, I really need to, you know, find some other ideas for more videos to make. So until then, this is Cinema 77, horror and co-film lover, wishing you a good night, pleasant dreams, and take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.